live, local, late breaking, KSAT 12 News at 5. A rough day on Wall Street. The Dow down nearly 680 points today, closing at 81.49. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Leslie Mouton in for Ursula Perry. And I'm Steve Spreester. Some people suffer wounds that just won't heal. To solve the problem, doctors are going back in time to find a solution that helps heal everything from diabetic sores to burns. But we want to warn you, some of the images you will see are pretty graphic. Josh Pennington has mowed the lawn more times in his 63 years than he can count. But the routine chore nearly killed him when he hit a stone that wounded his leg. That wound just wouldn't heal. I do a lot of hunting and fishing outdoors where I could possibly get it infected or something. And so that was always on my mind. His wound was so deep it exposed his bone and nothing he tried for three years would fix it. Then doctors at Georgetown University tried a new bandage infused with honey. So long as it's clean and it's healthy and it's showing progress, I'm with the program. Medi Honey is a highly absorbent seaweed based bandage soaked with a special kind of honey produced only in Australia and New Zealand. The honey is concentrated and provides an ideal environment for wound healing. It killed bacteria with some of the enzymes that, it's, that it has within it. The acid in the bandage also helps lower the pH level in chronic wounds for better healing. Unlike antibiotics, the honey poses no toxic effects or risks of resistance. We are starting to use Manuka honey as a first line uh, drug as opposed to uh, waiting to see whether other dressings work or not because this we've had excellent success with it. In just months, Josh's wound shrunk 95 percent. Power to the bees. It's amazing stuff. Doctors at Georgetown are the first in the U.S. to use this Medi Honey treatment, but using honey to heal wounds really isn't a new idea. Egyptians used it for wound dressing and for embalming 4,000 years ago. Researchers believe the bandage may also protect wounds from infections like MRSA.